Ciao friends! In this video, I want to show you how to use a conditional formatting and some DAX code to easily find the minimum and maximum values in a matrix. Let's start looking at the scenario. If you look at this report, I'm using uh, the brand, the product brand and the store continent uh, in a matrix. Uh, and I'm using color highlighting to highlight the values, uh, depend to highlight the numbers based on their relative value. It's not easy to spot immediately what is the minimum and maximum values of the entire matrix. What I want to obtain is something different. I want a report that looks like this one. You see that I have in green the maximum and in red the minimum value. And of course, being a measure, it is completely dynamic. Therefore, the spot changes depending on how the selection is made. So, how can I achieve that? Well, what I need to do is build a measure that returns one for the minimum and two for the maximum. This measure needs to rebuild inside it the entire set of values displayed in the matrix. So it needs to build all these values in a variable. Then it will compute the minimum, the maximum value and the current value. At the end, we will check if the current value is equal to the minimum, we return one. If it is the maximum, we return two. And then we will use the value of this measure in conditional formatting in order to change the background of my number. Let's start. First of all, I need a new measure. So I create a new measure, let's call it min or max, and let's follow the steps. First, I need a variable that contains the values displayed. Values displayed will use calculate table because it will need to change the filter context. Then we do a summarize of sales by product brand and by store continent. This rebuilds the structure of the table, but we also need to create a new column that contains the sales amount. So we use that columns around it and we create a new column which we call the amount, which is just sales amount. Now, the entire add columns need to be enclosed into all selected because what I need to build is the entire matrix, not only the current cell. The next step is finding the minimum value. So the min val is just the min x over the values displayed of my variable, of my column amount. And the same for the maximum value. Maximum value is the max x over the values displayed, again, of amount. Last thing that I need is the current value. So current value is just sales amount. Finally, I need the result. The result is just a switch, a switch. We switch on true because we check, we check multiple conditions. Now, if the current value is equal to the minimum value, then we return one. Otherwise, if the current value is equal to the max value, then we return to. Otherwise, a blank is just fine. Finally, we return the result. Now, this measure returns one for the mean and two for the max. The last thing that I need to do is use conditional formatting to read the value of this measure and behave the proper way. So I need to go here and go to conditional formatting and I'm going to change the default rules. I want a set of rules. It's no longer based on the sales amount, but it's based on my min or max measure. If the value is one, that means we are on the minimum. Therefore, we use the red color. Uh, where is red? Here it is. And we create a second rule that says that if the value is two as a number, then we should put it on green. Let's choose any kind of green. Once I click on OK, now you see that uh, Asia is uh, green because it's the highest value and the uh, tailspin toys in Europe is red. And if I change the selection, of course, everything changes. As we have seen multiple times, uh, combining DAX and conditional formatting, you can easily obtain very interesting reports. If you are interested in these kind of topics, uh, come at SQLBI.com. You will find uh, the full article describing the technique and you also have the option of downloading the demo file to start learning DAX. Have fun with DAX!